workshop with tiles. Today we have with us Miss Abiha Arun. Hello, Abiha. How are you? Yeah. Hi, Zegra. Doing good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Welcome to our workshop. Thank you. So uh, we are so pleased to have you with us today. Let me introduce you all to our speaker for today. She is an IT professional and a home gardener by passion. She spends most of her time, uh, free time with her, uh, with her plants in her garden because, you know, she considers it as her, you know, a perfect stress buster. And today she's going to tell us all about the trailing plants, their care and how we can propagate them. As you can see, there are so many beautiful plants around her, trailing plants, very beautiful. So she's going to talk about it and uh, you can connect with her on her Instagram page. Her uh, Instagram handle is crazy underscore garden underscore ER uh, where she shares about her beautiful journey with plants and you can uh, connect with her. You can ask her questions over there as well. So uh, without any delay, uh, Abiha, let's get started. Over to you. Yeah, sure, Sekra. Hi, all. Happy to meet you here. And thank you for our affordable garden store and for Zegra for giving me this opportunity. And I love gardening very much. And how I started is, even from my small age, I allowed to do gardening. Daily morning, what I'll do is, after getting up right from my bed, I'll directly come to my plants and I'll check, okay, today what are all the plants uh, has produced flowers, each and everything. Daily morning, that will be my routine. After going to my garden only, I'll start my day to be like that. So I love my plants very much. Then after also, after I got into the work also, what will happen is, uh, it was uh, for the last two years, we faced this pandemic situation, right? So we were fully at house. So at that time, I uh, started growing plants and I spent all my free time, everything, fully with plants I have spent. So that made me, uh, what to say, to uh, grow these plants, I, uh, I feel very happy when I'm with my plants, like that actually started. Okay, now uh, shall I start, Zegra? Yes, yes, sure, go ahead. Yeah. So uh, today I'm going to cover how to grow these hanging plants. I'll tell you what... Uh, what kind of soil you should use and how to water, sunlight requirements and everything. I'll tell you about this hanging plant. Okay. First, I'll show you some of my hanging plants. And here you can see, this is, uh, here there are two plants. Okay. This is tangled hot and this is uh, turtle vine. These plants you can grow very easily. Actually, I love to say, uh, to say it is very easy, but to start growing this uh, plant, Initially, I failed many times to say that I killed this tangled hot around six or seven times, I'll say. After that only, I have got to know that how to grow this and I, and I got trained and now see, I was able to successfully propagate these plants. And right here you can see, right, this is the mother plant and from this plant I have taken a cutting and in just five or six days it has grown like this. that also actually initially didn't happen initially i was like oh my god i heard that in youtube i was searching and i was googling and i, I was searching but in that it was given that uh, we can grow this plant very easily it will catch growing easily but it was not like that for me initially i killed it many and many times and finally after many attempts I was able to successfully grow this hanging plant. So I thought that, okay, I can share my experience, how I found growing this plant. So I thought I can share that with you. So first initially, I'll show my plant. Okay. And here you can see, right, how thickly it has grown. This is also a turtle vine. This also I grown some, some cuttings. And here you can see some, this is a sedum variety can see here right and this mother plant is here from this i have taken a cutting and i have put it here and see it is growing good you can see wow. here right yes beautiful yeah so the initial uh, the mother plant you got it from the nursery yeah this actually i got it from the nursery but okay. this from a cutting i grown 
and it has grown this long actually it was a very oh, small cutting i took and gift and now it's too huge like this beautiful but this i got it from a nursery this plant okay 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 and next plant is this you can see right yes wow it's full bushy <laughs> this is too bushy right but initially yeah. when you have in my page i have given actually it was just like two or three cuttings i have kept and now it is this bushy wow this wonderful. is also kalisha ripens actually this plant is in okay. this actually there are two varieties here in between you can see that okay this pink color this is term they will say as pink lady like that this also it will grow it will trail very good this plant and next the color is also very pretty it's looking very beautiful this is baby sandros okay actually this plant produces a flower it will be in pink color it will be very beautiful to see now actually it is flower but uh, this plant actually usually produce a flower and it will be in a pink color and this also is a trailing but you can see here right it is well it has started trailing yes and this is a variegated variety in this leaf you can see right it is white and green color mm -hmm. this is a variegated variety and this i have an ordinary variety also. it is actually here This is an usual variety. This also uh, produces the same pink color flower, and this is a variegated variety. Okay. Next and this is also a beautiful, actually hanging plant, and this also actually produces a flower. Uh, the flower is usually in uh, here. You can see right here it has uh, bloomed and everything fall off, and. Uh, This flower will look here is very pretty. It will be in white and uh, brown color, and this is also a good trailing plant. It will trail uh, very nicely. It will be very nice to see. In this also see it is uh, the leaf back of the leaf. It is violet color and front it is green color. You can wow. use it as a trailing plant. It actually it is very pretty to look. Can and you also, mention the names of the plants as well while you are showing them? Yeah, yeah, sir. Sure. This I said right. it is a baby sun rose and this is a tangled heart and this is turtle vine mm -hmm. and it is collarata it is hemigraphis collarata okay? okay and now coming to this photos variety i have actually some good amount of photos varieties and see I love this photos variety because of this colors in the leaves. There are there are different varieties and each varieties they differ by the leaves. Right, this is a variety, and you can see here, right? This is a variety. Yeah, this is Actually, a common one. We had a very big one, but in my house there are some rats. Okay, this rat damaged all my plants. Then after that, I took a small cutting from this. And grown it, and now it's this huge, looking pretty, right? The leaves. Yeah, lovely. They're very big leaves, also. Yes, they are very big. And some more varieties, obviously. It is. It has trailed very long. Wow. This is satin queen photo. Name. Is. Okay. So all these plants uh, are outdoors. You keep them outdoors, yeah, or do you keep them indoors? Yes, and this the uh, photos varieties you can also keep it indoor. But okay. the thing is, if you keep it indoor, the you can see the colors in the leaf. But mostly it will be green because it will not get that much sunlight, right? Okay. So if you keep it outdoor, and also it should not be kept in very direct sunlight. The sunlight should be indirect sunlight, and if you kept it like that, then. It will be. It will grow very nice with the colors in this leaf. Otherwise, you can see only this plenty green color will be there. So if uh, it is kept outside, some this variegations. I mean, this color will be bright. Okay. And I'll show you. Okay. 
this photo is okay what happened is i kept it in i mean this photo uh, got a chance to be in full sunlight so what happened you see the leaves got burned got, got, uh -huh. uh, so the thing is it should not receive direct sunlight but also it is not like it should not receive sunlight it should be some kind of indirect sunlight okay. if it is like that then it will grow pretty like this and but these two are uh, different varieties just to show you i am uh, i have taken this one see all the leaves has got burned okay so if we are placing it outdoors we need to place it in a shady area under a shade or something will that be yeah, okay if you, if you place it in a shady area also it will grow but the thing is there should be some bright light in the area where you are placing it even this kind of here you can see right here there is not much sunlight but uh -huh. it is not also getting direct sunlight some kind of bright light is there right yes at this yes. kind of place you can see the plant it is grow very nice okay okay now first let's see the soil requirements okay and i forgot to say about this is also a hanging variety and this is creeping charlie it is very uh, what to say like a baby this see please it looks like a mint leaf but its name is creeping charlie it's a good training plant you can see this right yes yes i can see beautiful yeah. okay now let's see uh, uh, about the potting mixture okay i have taken some and kept it ready you can see my screen properly right yes yes you can place it on the table also we can see okay. yeah okay see actually this is uh, cocoa peat or coir peat usually this hanging plants will we will be hanging it in the wall or anywhere else right so if we use more amount of this soil what will happen is while we are uh, watering the plants the water gets accumulated in the soil and the pot gets somewhat heavier so there is a chance that the pot may break or even the hanging uh, screw you will be hanging it somewhere right that also that chance it may fall down so yes. if we use this coir peat it is very light in weight and also it will be easy for you to uh, carry the pot and shift it somewhere also and okay. coming to the sterilite if we use this perlite it, it provides good aeration to the plant uh, for example if, if you see the soil and all after a long time if you are using this what will happen is it will get somewhat thicker the mm -hmm. nutrients everything will go off from the plant from the soil so if uh, at that time what will happen is the soil gets tighter and there will be no chance for the roots to go inside deeper So uh -huh. if we use this perlite, what will happen is it will good, it will provide good aeration to the plants. Okay. So it will be very what to say that kind of uh, thickness will not form in the soil. And why I am using this is in the pot we will be putting this holes under right. If we directly put the soil inside, it will go through the holes and uh, the all the soil will come out. So we can use this clay ball. to hide this holes for that okay. i have taken this and also this choco bar and this is vermiculite this also provides good aeration to the plant and it will make the potting mixture very light and also it provides some kind of nutrition to the plant and in this soil i have mixed it with vermicompost vermicompost actually it is a very good fertilizer usually i use the fertilizer this vermicompost as a fertilizer to my plants it is very helpful and it makes the plants grow very good mm -hmm. now what i am going to do is i am going to mix all this together and form the potting mixture okay can you uh, mention the proportion in which you have taken each uh, okay. element yes. actually this perlite you can take it as a small amount soil should be the major it should be okay. two Two is two, and this vermi compost, sorry, this uh, cocoa peat should be in the proportion one, and this perlite, this vermi colite, this choc choco bar, everything should be in a post proportion point five. Okay. So I have taken those and I'm mixing it together. You can place it on the table, Abhiha. I'm able to see. Yeah. Everything is clearly visible. Okay. 
I have mixed them very well, and I am taking the pot and I am to fill the holes. I am using this clay bowl. Okay. And I am putting this soil inside. And see the this uh, potting mix is very light and also it is very easy while while you are using it in a hanging uh, pot. Okay. This is the soil mixture I usually use for my plants. Next we can uh, see about this water. Okay, for okay. this hanging plants and now here actually in Tamil Nadu, uh, especially in my place, it is very hot. So okay. at this situation, we should frequently water the plants. Frequently in the sense daily. Okay. Daily, uh, and the best time to water is at least uh, before eight in the morning, and in the evening it should be after five. These are the best time to water the plants. But more than watering in the evening, if you water the plants in the morning, it is actually very nice because usually uh, they will say that evening time these plants usually uh, go to sleep. So yes. at that time. Sorry. If we water the plant, there's a chance that that water may accumulate in the leaves, and the leaves may drain. So mostly prefer watering at the morning, and especially for these hanging plants that are kept in the containers, we should water it in the. We should water daily, especially in this summer. Okay. And also, we should water. How we should water means while watering. Through the holes that are present at the bottom of this container, water should come out. In okay. that sense, you should water. It should not be like you should just. Uh, some may think that okay, we are watering daily, so just only some water we can. It should not be like that. The water you are pouring it into the plant should drain off from the holes below. And if okay. that happens only, we can say that the potting is also good. And uh, the plants has received the full kind of uh, what to say, water. The plants received fully like that. We can uh, consider that. Okay. okay. So, so uh, yeah. when do you place a plate or anything beneath the pot? Actually, what I do to drain. I use the hanging plants. I hang it like this. So for this kind of thing. Plates are not required, right? Because it directly yes. it's not fit fall down. But yeah. if you are keeping this plants indoor, then at mm -hmm. that time there is a there is a requirement that we need to keep plates under. Yes. Otherwise, uh, it will get the floors and all will get dirty and it will be damp. Yeah. And also, if you are placing it in a, in a floor or some kind of containers, at that time also you can use plates under. Okay. And this pot, right? You can see this pot, right? Here under, you can see, right? There yes. is a plate attached to it. So water gets accumulated here, and whenever water is taken, it automatically takes from below. Okay. So for these kind of pots, under it is not required. We need to water daily. All right. Even once in a week is sufficient because water uh, gets stored here, and whenever it requires, it take water from this out. Bottom one. Yeah. What is the name of this plant again? It's very pretty. Yeah, this is actually what is it? Uh, pink lady. Oh, okay. The name and is Pink Lady. Kalisha Ripens. Its official name is Kalisha Ripens. Okay. Kalisha Ripens. Okay. Now let's come to the sunlight requirement. As I previously mentioned, for this photos variety, and all right, for this photos variety, we should not keep it in direct sunlight. If you keep the uh, plants in direct sunlight, as I show here, the leaves will get burned. So yeah. it is not advised to keep it in direct sunlight, and also we should keep the plant in indirect sunlight. It should not be in shady place. Also, we can keep the plant in shady place. Some kind of disadvantage. What we will be facing is the growth will be low because for plant growth, sunlight requirement is very much important, right? Yes. So, at the, when sunlight is not 
phase i mean when the plant is not getting sufficient sunlight the thing will what will happen is just the growth will be somewhat uh, low but the thing is the plant will not die photos actually it grows well in a shady place also mm -hmm. the growth will be somewhat dull and the leaves also the color right it will be mostly green okay so for photos variety sunlight requirement is it requires indirect sunlight for this plant right i have shown this guy right? this kid i mean this calicia ripens for this calicia ripens it needs full direct sunlight if you keep this plant in full direct sunlight only it will grow very good so for okay. this plant for this calicia ripens we need full direct sunlight okay and coming to this baby sun This tangled heart and this uh, turtle vine is there, right? This turtle vine also, it is not required that it should be placed fully in sunlight. If you place this turtle vine in full sunlight, as the they are looking pretty, right? So this turtle vine, if you keep this in direct sunlight, there is a chance here you can see right this yellowing of leaf. Yes. This will happen, and the color of the leaf will be somewhat like this, some pale yellow. It will turn, and there is a chance that leaf may droop off. Okay. So this turtle vine also, it is advisable to keep in an indirect sunlight, at least otherwise in morning sunlight. it should not be kept in afternoon sunlight if you kept this plant in this afternoon sunlight what will happen is like this this yellow leaf right it will come and the leaves will droop off from the plant okay and this sedum is there right you can see here right it is a uh, stone corn sedum like that they would say okay and this plant also it is not like it should be kept uh, fully in sunlight the same care like this turtle vine can be given to this. for this okay. sedum plant okay okay coming to the this one tangled hot i should say is really about this tangled hot i love actually this tangled hot very much because you can see this leaf right it is somewhat thick and it, it is also some kind of succulent variety okay okay You can see my screen correctly. Yes, yes, I can see everything clearly. Okay, so Don't move your camera. Like just, just let it be like that. So you know, uh, there is not a problem. I can see everything. Okay. So actually, just let your camera be in the position it is right now. Uh, I can see the entire frame. Okay. So, actually, for I love to grow this tangled hot plant. very much but the thing is initially times i said right around 6 or 7 times i killed this plant literally i should say it oh. will start growing very well but the thing i'll do is over watering i'll be like oh. okay this plant is growing very well you should water it frequently like that what i will do is i'll water it and the water accumulated in the plant which is killed the plant so as i said that while uh, preparing the soil i mean the spotting mixture we should not use that uh, coir pot in high amount because this coir pot has the capacity to retain water so if we put that coir pot in higher proportion what will happen is the water gets retained in the soil and the, the soil will turn somewhat soggy so we should not do that mistake also so i have done that mistake and i have killed my uh, tangled pot then after that only i learned and i came to know that uh, it, the uh, potting mix should not have that coir pot in excess we should we can have it in a proportion of 2 is to 1 if uh, it is two pots of soil we can have it in a portion of one okay and also this tangled hot this also it is not advisable to keep it in full sunlight it, it can receive morning sunlight this plant you can see right how pretty it looks the leaves and all you can see right it's somewhat like uh, it's uh, for touching it itself it is looking very soft and it is very nice so for this plant also 
it should not kept in full direct sunlight some kind of uh, moderate sunlight that is morning sunlight that kind of thing you can uh, keep this okay and here i have another one okay this is some kind of grass this plant actually we should keep it in full sunlight if you keep it in full sunlight only this this will grow very good and also in this leaves you can see right at the back it is like uh, some violet color and in front it is green color this kind of variegations and all will be showing only if you kept it in uh, full sunlight it will grow very good and also this plant what happens is uh, this plant requires more water the uh, what to say this potting should be always wet it should not be dry if it is dry what will happen is this uh, plant will become somewhat it will be like it will feel sad if you i'll say like that it's an actually some kind of trauma plant if you <laughs> water for one day it will have, what will happen is this leaves and all will close and it will very sad uh -huh. but the thing is it will not die once again when we water it will again catch up and it will grow it will be like some kind of fresh i had in this a uh, full green is also available and this produce some kind of white flowers mm -hmm. it will be only small small flowers but the leaf itself it will be looking very pretty and i forgot to say about this i think we all will be familiar about this plant this is a spider plant this plant also actually i didn't buy it from nursery or anywhere when i went to one place like this i saw it was trailing like this. so what i took this just i took one cutting like this and i just planted it and now it has grown very good and it also started putting this small plant beautiful yeah and this plant also should not be kept in sunlight if you have kept it in sunlight then see here you can see right this leaves are all gone so like this it will happen so this plant is also advisable this plant you can also keep it in some kind of it is not full shade even the sunlight sometimes it may be low right at that mm -hmm. time partial shade at that place you can keep this plant and propagation is also very easy for this plant here you can see right in this plant here so this roots are all present so just if you need to propagate this plant you can take one small thing from this and keep it in the soil it will go it will grow very good what about the weather abiha uh, do these plants grow in all the seasons yes actually it will grow in all season i said you right actually in my place how it was this around i think it is uh, two or three months back here it was raining very heavily at that time i should say that every plants was really very good and it was growing good because in rain the climate was very good and now it is really literally very hot and at this climate also you can see right all plants are doing good yes but one thing is few plant actually this turtle vine there is a mother plant that was actually it was a bit dull because it got some direct sunlight and the leaves started burning Okay. So if we keep this plant in an indirect sunlight and maintaining it in that place itself, then this plant will grow very well. It should not be like we should not change the places of these plants. We okay. should keep the plant in that indirect sunlight itself and start growing. And uh, the thing is, we should just take care of it properly. The only main thing we should take care is water. We should uh, water it regularly and sunlight. As I said, it should be in indirect sunlight. Some plants like this uh, calicia and this. only should be kept in full sunlight okay other than that mostly everything should be kept in partial shade and coming to this uh, pruning okay as shown this calicia repens in this calicia repens you can see right you can see if i took it like this here you can see some kind of this kind of dead leaves and all is there right in each and every plant what you should do is you should do regular pruning okay. the thing is here we can see right some dead leaves and all is present here you should remove off this dead leaf and you should cut it so if you do this regular kind of pruning this plants will grow very nicely if it is not like see this plant is looking very bushy so it is yes. not like you should leave it as it is okay it is bushy we need not take care it will grow as it is it should not be like you should do regular pruning 
Okay. If you prune it only, it will grow more bush. And before this, I had the same plant in some other pot. What happened is it grown very bushy and it fully covered the pot. So I was thinking, okay, it is growing very nicely. So there is no requirement. I should, I need not prune. Everything looks good. Like that, I left it. Finally, what happened is after it reached the bottom, this the leaves right, small, small. It got uh, what to say? It started drooping off, and finally the whole plant died off. So it should not oh. be like that. Even though you can see that this plant is growing very, very bushier, and then see. Yeah, right, and also here. See here, this kind of some dead leaves and all is there, right? You should regularly take it off, and you should cut it. So if we do like that, it will go grow more bushy, and it will uh, it will be more uh, thick, and it will fill the pots very good. Okay. Okay. And this is uh, regarding pruning this plant. And now. Let's see about this pesticide. Mostly for this uh, kind of hanging plant, it will not get that much pest attack. But uh, in my plants, what kind of pest attack I gone to is this spider mites are there, right? Yes. And, uh, that kind of pests actually attack my plant. So what I did while that kind of insects attack my plant, I mean attack my plants is this uh, neem oil is there, right? I yes. use this neem oil and I sprayed this neem oil thoroughly in all my plants. So I did it around two or three times. After doing this, what happened is all that spider mites, right? It gone away from my plant. So that is the only less chance of attack uh, uh, in this uh, hanging. But in case if any plants were attacked uh, by this kind of spider mites or any kind of insects or anything, you can use this neem oil. I usually use this neem oil only to spray my plant. And finally, coming to propagation. Actually, propagation of this plant is really very easy. Okay, I will propagate. Up. And the main thing while propagating that we have to keep in mind is we should not initially itself go for the option of a bigger pot. So okay. sometimes we may think that okay, already it's growing good, we can keep it in a bigger pot. It is not like that. First, the we have to take a cutting and place it in a small pot. Once we uh, when once we see that okay, it is go growing good, everything is good. And when it started growing well, after that, we should shift it into a bigger pot. That is actually a good practice. There's a chance that sometimes even if you keep this uh, plants in a, I mean, this cuttings in a bigger pot, that may grow. But it will be more efficient and effective if you start growing it from in a smaller pot, okay? So if I'm taking the cutting, what I'm doing is, While selecting this cutting, it should be a healthy cutting, okay? See here, here and all. This leaf is very, I mean, this stem is very, what to say? It is very thick and very healthy. So while choosing, we should choose a healthy stem. So that only while we are placing it in the new soil, it will catch and it will grow very good. Okay, so while propagating we should choose a healthy cutting and it should be around six to seven inches the cutting size should be okay and i haven't taken any okay from this i'm taking and turtle wine cutting okay just see here every 
them are very thick long and they are very healthy so just we can also use the scissor to take it off or also if the hand also you can take a cut it okay just to see i'm just thinking of here and i have taken a healthy cut okay. i think one is enough and from this also i'm taking an healthy cut okay. from this also i have taken so what we have to do is these kind of hanging plants what you can see right in each and every leaf there is some kind of root so just we have to spread it like this in the soil okay this stem alone i am keeping it inside the soil and others just what i am doing is i am just making it to touch the soil and putting some soil above that cutting which i have placed okay and i am taking this turtle vine these long we can uh, we need not place it directly just i am again cutting it and here also i am cutting so what i am doing is this stem i am inserting into the soil Sigra, how much time left? Oh, we have uh, another half an hour. 25 minutes. Okay. So I'm keeping all these cuttings inside this. Okay? Just I'm, what I'm doing is I'm making this leaf touch this soil. Okay? And I'm taking this. Just I have kept it in the soil and put some soil about it. And just we need to water. And the thing is, after keeping this cutting in the soil, we should water once and initially for around two or three days we should keep it in some kind of shady place okay so after you found that okay it started growing you can keep it in indirect sunlight and also these are baby plants so we should not keep it in direct sunlight even though this calicia depends also while propagating you should not keep it in direct sunlight for initial some days it should be kept in some kind of indirect sunlight then not indirect sunlight, some kind of shade, and then we should move it into indirect sunlight. Okay. And I'll show you propagating support. Here you can see right some dead leaves and all that. You should prune regularly. Then only it will show some kind of bushy growth. This side is some kind of uh, dull, and this side you can see right it is sitting thick. Yes. So this also you can take cutting, you can go inside. And see, this is also looking healthy. You can see the thickness of the stem, right? It is looking healthy. So these kind of, some two to three cutting something. Okay. And this also this under some two or three leaves of that, right? I'm taking this off. And I'm placing it inside the soil. And this also I'm pinching off this bottom leaf. And I'm placing it. Actually, usually I do like this only. 
it is not like in one pot i'll keep only one variety here here also you can see right here that is turtle wine tangled hot yes i was about to ask you the same question we can place two three uh, different varieties in the same pot okay definitely we can keep okay it will be going and also in some other pot what about water propagation can we propagate these in water as well water propagation actually i have not done for these kind of plants Okay. But actually, we were successful in growing this photos varieties in water. I said to you, okay. right? This photos especially, I propagated okay. through water. All right. So in this also, you can see right two to three varieties are there. This seed and variety is there. Then this turtle wine is there, and yeah, only those two are there. So it is not like only one variety. I have. I, I usually keep it like that one. Okay. So we should properly insert it with the soil, cover it, and then. Initially, it will be some kind of dull only, but after two to three days, it will start catching growing. Okay. So this is how we will. I actually I propagate this plant. Okay. Then other than this, I have another one plant to show you. Okay. This is one wandering Jew. Okay. In this also you can see this is also a variety of turtle one. And I usually go to a nursery for buying plants. Okay. In that plant, in that nursery, as I go frequently, there is one sister. She is some kind of friend. Because I use, I regularly go to that nursery around. I should say that in a month I go twice or thrice. Oh, okay. So what happened is that sister. I I saw this plant one time in that nursery, but it was only one. It was fully in the hanging basket. That sister, what she did uh, did this. I was asking, is there any small plants or anything present like this? She said that no, only in one part this plant is present like this. So what she did is some small cutting. I should say it will be only this much long. This much long, a single cutting she gave me. So that what I did is I planted in this pot and see now how long it has grown. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, this is also a variety of this uh, turtle wine. But uh, the difference I can see is in this stem, right? Here you can see like it is some kind of thick, uh, some brown color it is, and leaves also it is. And the growing pattern is somewhat different. And I said you right. Usually in this kind of hanging plant, in each leaf nodule there is a root. So just if we make a cutting and just place it into the soil, it grows very good. Okay. And this is the wandering Jew variety. No, it is a this plant is named as wandering Jew. This also I will say okay. Only a small cutting. Just I cut from a big plant. What I did is I just cut it and kept it here. And you can see, right? It has grown this big. Yes, beautiful. Right. And this leaves also actually it will be looking pretty. And another one thing is this plant actually usually changes color. What mm -hmm. happened is if you keep this plant fully in sunlight, what will happen is It will be more green. When okay. this plant is kept some kind of in partial sunlight only, this kind of colors you can see. here you can see right. It is green and in between some white lines are there. Yes. So if you keep this plant in full sunlight, it will be some kind of a full green. It will turn. Okay. This I have kept it in partial shade, so the color is like this. And at the at the bottom, you can see some kind of violet color. It is right. So these are also two types of uh, hanging plants, and this also we can propagate very easily. As I said, what I do is here, right? Just from here, I uh, we can cut this and just place it directly into the soil. I kept like that cutting, and it has grown this big. Wow, beautiful! This also can be grown very easily, and 
this plant also what as i said if you keep it in dark sunlight it will be in that color and you can do like this also you can from a plant you can uh, take few cuttings and uh, grow it directly and grow it uh, in full sunlight some plants you can keep like that and some plants you can uh, keep it in partial sunlight so it will be some kind of different two varieties right yes so like that also you can try growing this plant and and also you can see that this pot is too small right and if uh, this plant has grown very bushy thicker there is a chance that there will be no place for this uh, roots to go to so at that time you can shift this uh, plant into a bigger pot say oh. you should choose a bigger pot and uh, make ready a potting mixture like this and uh, just take this plant off and uh, replace it in the new pot like that only we should change this and all we should not like uh, we should pull the plant out of we are not able to hear you abiha and your connection looks a uh, little weak your camera is also frozen can you please check your connection unable to hear you at all yeah it's okay now can you hear me now yes yes Zehra? Zehra? Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. You got disconnected. No worries. You have to take the camera now. Yes, you can uh, see my camera, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. And now remaining plants, okay? You can see it here, right? Yeah. And can here I'll put your camera. Put it in landscape. That's yeah. Good, right? Yeah, it's clear now. and here i'll show you another here you can see another plant you can see clearly right yes yes i can see the plant also you can see right yeah and this plant okay this is plant flowering plant okay actually it's a blue flower and it's uh, named as blue days this plant actually okay. you should usually we should keep it in full sunlight for it to bloom and i have said uh, in the previous plant i have shown you right wandering jew this is also a variety of that and i'll show you the difference between the two. these are two different varieties here you can see green leaves with some kind of white uh, lines inside this right but here the leaves are it is somewhat different you can see the line somewhat uh, darker and it is somewhat uh, silvery lines also you can see. so these are the two varieties okay and this is also an hanging plant as i said it uh, its name is blue days in my uh, instagram page actually i have uh, put post on this you can also see that it produces a very good blue flower it will be really very nice to see okay so this is also a kind of hanging plant i mean flowering plant all right another plant i'll show you okay sorry i have kept it somewhat in distance no worries i think this plant you will be familiar with this plant this is a serum variety okay in this serum varieties i have around the three to four plants and this is a variety in which the leaves are very thicker i have another one variety in which the leaves are some kind of longer this plant usually it will not produce any flower or anything but the thing is it will be very pretty and this also it should not placed in full direct sunlight if you keep this plant in full direct sunlight what will happen is here you can see right 
this leaves are turning yellow and also at this side see this leaves started drooping off it got dried mm -hmm. off yeah because this side is exposed to full direct sunlight so oh, this okay. sedum variety also it is not recommended to keep it fully in sunlight and also you should not keep it in shade also some kind of partial sunlight in that situation you should keep this plant okay, okay. if you keep this plant in that situation here so here you can see right the bushiness in the growth and also the color it is very thick dark green color and it is so bushy and it is uh, also nice to see right yes very beautiful so this is an one variety of sedum plant i have other varieties as i said the leaves will be some kind of large and it will be like some pine it will be like that this also you can keep it in hanging basket and i'll say how i grown this plant like uh, i have shown you for propagation i have shown you this pot right in this like this one pot only i have grown this plant and and also initially i didn't have the thick plant and all what i had is just this also can be propagated from cuttings so you can take a healthy cutting and directly place it into the soil it will grow very nicely so this plant also what happened is i just took two or three cuttings and kept it in this kind of pot initially okay. what happened is the plant totally it got uh, dried and suddenly one Uh, some one small stem only was there so i was thinking of okay this plant will not catch up it will die like that i was thinking but surprisingly after two or three weeks i was able to see small small leaves coming out of that single stick then after that what happened is i uh, in, like in this kind of pot this plant fully it occupied it grew wow. very bushy and thicker after that this pot didn't have space so after that only what i did is i shifted into a bigger pot and now see it has filled this pot also lovely yeah so this uh, plant provide us many kind of surprises and it also provides us very what to say happiness in us even sometimes we may look dull or uh, due to some this work or any other personal stuff we may get low but when spending time with this plant what will happen is all our worries everything will go off and we will be feeling very happy i usually i have many times realized this when i am feeling dull or anything what i'll do is i'll directly come to my plants and i'll do repotting or i'll take care of the plants and water them i'll spend my time fully with my plants and also in the big days i'll not have i'll not be having time to take care of my plants so whatever the time is sometimes it will take a uh, around 10 night to complete my work what i will do is okay no problem like that after that 10 pm i'll come and i will uh, be potting my plants everything that kind of stuff i'll be doing so spending time with my plants was really a very big stress buster for me i should really say that so even i can suggest you also when you are feeling low or anything try spending with your plants it will provide you very happiness everything it will provide yes definitely yeah and how much time uh, abiha can you tell us like how much time did it take for these plants to grow these long the ones that are behind you yeah actually the plants now i have shown you right i i should say that i started it in around in this lockdown only i should say that after this covid only i have started okay. by what i do is i'll be buying this plants through online online nursery should be there right uh -huh. i'll be buying this plants from that and as i said initially i was not at all successful i bought many plants and initially because of not proper care i killed many plants but i didn't lose my hope i didn't think that okay i am not i'll not be able to grow plants and so as i said from a small age itself i love plants i love growing them but the thing is i didn't uh, what to say fully i didn't uh, go into this and uh, i i didn't involve myself fully in that just i was taking care of the plants that was in my house 
So okay. after COVID only, what happened is I started buying plants from this online nurseries, and initially for I should say around three or four months, I was not at all successful. Only small, some one or two plants will come. This hanging plants and all. In last one year only, I learned how to grow this by many failure attempts. After many failure attempts, I finally succeeded, and I came to know how to grow these uh, hanging plants, and I can see the result. Of surrounded by me right yes beautiful so for growing this many plants i mean especially this hanging plants successfully it took i mean leaving the failure attempts it took around 6 months for the past 6 months i should say i was able to successfully grow propagate and grow this plants very good oh okay amazing Yeah. So you also, when uh, trying to grow, there will be definitely because growing plants, it may look easy for some, it may be difficult. But once you get to know how to take care of that plant uh, particularly, then by definitely you will succeed in plants because, as I said, always plants will provide you happiness. Yes. Yes. So you also when. Uh, Or to say, when uh, you are trying to grow a plant, it is not doing well. Don't lose hope at all. Definitely, the plants actually they love you a lot. So yes. definitely, they catch up and they grow back. So no worries. Absolutely, it was yeah. wonderful uh, looking at all your beautiful plants and hearing about uh, their care and potting mix. How you've explained very well. It was an amazing uh, session, Abhiha. Thank you so much for your time. We just have a couple of minutes left. Do you have anything uh, at the end to say? Any last uh, things that you have to share with the audience? No, Sagrasa. I said, even though uh, while you are growing the plant, how much failure attempt you face, don't lose hope at all. Definitely, oh. your plants love you a lot, and it will be when you. Came to that is when you come to know how to grow a plant. It is really very easy doing this gardening, and really, as he said, they are very good. This person, in spite of spending your time in mobiles or social media or anywhere else, you can spend your time with your plants. It is really very good for your health also. Yes, absolutely. Lovely message. Thank you so much for sharing your knowledge and your experiences with us. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much for providing this opportunity. You're most welcome. So, anybody who is watching us here, I will repeat again. You can connect with Abiha on her Instagram page. Uh, the link to her uh, Instagram handle is in the description box below. And uh, you can also connect with us if you are a gardener and you want to share your experiences with us and you want to do the next workshop with us, then please mail us on info at the rate the affordable organic store dot com. Uh, I have uh, posted the email address in the comment section. You can mail to us and we will definitely schedule a workshop with you. Thank you so much, Abhiha, once again for your precious time. Yeah thank you Zekra. Okay bye bye. Bye.